。潜水的人心潮澎湃，热血流过动脉，别让梦想带着遗憾醒来。总有人被世界淘汰，总有人被记载，在这尔虞我诈的舞台，听过。Grandma, good morning. You're up. Yeah. Well then, I'll make you some butter tea. Just a moment. Thanks, Grandma. It's my pleasure. Nalan. Guashinian. Here. Could we please have your business card? Oh, look at you, so fluffy. You goofball. Who's a silly boy, huh? <laughs> How can I love you so much, you little fluff? Hmm? 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 I love you. Hello? Uh, yes, hello. Yeah, hello. Excuse me, am I speaking to Miss Nalan? My name is Gua Xinyan. Does my name ring a bell? Gua Xinyan. It was a few days ago. I was at your office. Do you remember me at all? <laughs> Do you have any idea who I am? I'm that guy who had a weak spot. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Who are you exactly? A few days ago, I made a presentation of my mobile bank encryption program to Rofis. We had a meeting. That's when you told me my encryption program has a weak spot. That's also when you gave me your business card. Do you remember? I'm sorry, but I don't really know who you are. Goofball, let's go home. Uh, were you talking to me? My dog. Oh. <laughs> if you don't remember me, that's all right. I think it's probably because you meet with lots of people, right? I shouldn't expect you to remember me. Miss Na. Do you know what? When I left Rofis after our meeting, it suddenly occurred to me that I need to take a break in my life. So I took off on my bicycle. I kept riding west until I reached Tibet. I'm calling you now from a plateau over 4,000 meters above sea level. Honest. And I'm not saying it to brag. You can check out my posts on Weibo. On Weibo, my username is Gua Xinyan. I posted some photos I took of the Yue Mountain as I passed it by. Along with some poems. Really, you can check them out. Oh, and don't forget to like my posts if you think they're cool. Why are you telling me all this? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh wait, I remembered something. I had a Swiss travel brochure with me when I went to Rofiz for that presentation. I think I left it at your office. Could you keep an eye out for it? And if you do find it, please, uh, just hold on to it. But if you can't find it, <laughs> then it's fine. It's not worth anything. I'm sorry. Am I bothering you? It's just that I don't know who to call anymore. With no projects, I had to shut down my company. My friends are all on a job hunt now. If I call any of them at this point, they'll think I'm out to borrow some money. But if I don't call someone, being alone in this expanse really feels suffocating. So, anyway, I'll let you go about your day. I know you're busy. I'll see you when I get back. I'll bring some souvenirs. 
Souvenirs. <laughs> goof goof, come on. Some thoughts after passing through the Ruya Mountain Barracks. The legends say that Ruya Mountain was formed from Princess Wan Chong's two teardrops. This touched me deeply, so I wrote a poem about it. <laughs> what a nerd! So this is you, huh? I can't even make out your face. <laughs> Gooster! I found you a brother, goofier than you are. From now on, we are going to call him Goofman. Hey, everyone! Stop whatever you're doing! Come here! Let's go! Today is Foxmail's first day of operations. Let's all welcome Mr. Huawei to deliver a short speech. Mr. Lua! <sighs> all right. We don't have too long, but we will seize the day. The era of mobile internet is now upon us. Here's the game plan. We finish Foxmail's components such as basic settings and content creation so we can launch it on the App Store. We have to launch it as soon as possible. Once we have a significant number of users, I will engage corporations for a series of funding rounds. Series A, and then Series B, and much later, an IPO! By that time, every one of you here will be... shareholders. Uh, he's awesome. <laughs> can you believe it? it? Hi, Miss Na. Hello again. It's Gua Xin Yen. I've had a couple of beers. <laughs> so my speech may be a bit slurred. Sorry about that. Are you having fun up there? <gasps> Any altitude sickness? It's not that bad. Actually, I've always wanted to take a train to Lhasa. You know, take the scenic route. The only problem is, I'll be alone. And it's a week on the train. That'll be boring. How does it feel? Altitude sickness. Just a headache. But you'll get used to it. If you do come, you really shouldn't take the train. You have to do it by bike. That way you can really take in the scenery. You know what? I can be your guide. And even if you're not here right now, I can tell you about what I experience every day. I can take pictures and send them to you. I'll talk you through the sights as I pass them by. Even hotel prices or restaurant specialties. I know all that. That way, when you do come, you'll be ready. That sounds great. Oh, I found your Swiss tourist for sure. Come get it when you're back. I can't go to Tibet now, but it'd be nice to hear about your daily exploits. Hey, let me make this clear. No sharing private matters. What? Of course not! Well, you look pleased. What are you doing here? Hey, will you chill out? The class reunion, you didn't know? And we will grow into a one. No, two billion. Make that a ten billion dollar company! We will reach that one day! This day, this day will be remembered and celebrated in the future. Because today, Luo Wei and every one of his partners have become pioneers of the revolutionary Fox Mail service. Today, Luo Wei and his friends and partners are on the forefront of mobile computing. We're blazing through new trails, reaching new summits. Great! Yes! Hooray! <laughs> <Hey. Well, laughs> wow. That's great! Sometime in the future, when we've become old, and when each one of us here have become a billionaire, you may find yourself lounging in Italy the Mediterranean, on the deck of a luxury yacht, no less. Right beside you is your grandchild, and they will ask you, Grandpa? Grandma? 
How can you be so freaking awesome? And cool! You don't work anymore! You're just lying there, sunbathing! And maybe you will look to this day as you tell them that Grandpa, Grandma, didn't used to lie around all day like everyone else. Back then, we worked our butts off. Back then, we teamed up with that pain in the neck, Lo Wei! Build a startup company! Build a company! Go Lo Wei! Go Lo Wei! playing in the UK. Don't be lazy. Get up. Enough excuses. Up. Good game, everyone. Woo! Woo! Your belly's so big. You're around eight months, right? Hmm. Shouldn't you be on leave? I'll go to the hospital when I'm due. That's brutal. Where I work, there's a bunch of young guys that are eyeing my position. They'd love for me to be gone. <laughs> if I do take a leave, I'll lose my position. It's so hard to find a job these days. By the way, don't have a baby at the foreign hospital. Hey, Promise me that. <laughs> I'm not really sure when that day would come. Come on, come on! <laughs> well, you should hurry up. The two of you together benefit the gene pool. Such a good pair. Back then, when we were still students in the UK, there were tons of girls staking their claim in Sinchang. Practically a celebrity. Then suddenly, news reached the foreign students' circle about a Beijing woman and how she has stolen the reddest apple from the tree. Ow! Come on! <laughs> what? It's really quite lonely up here. There's only so many places with internet connection where I can stop and share my thoughts with you. Hey, if you have time, why don't you record something so I can listen to your stories the next time I make a stop? Forget it, you're probably busy. He was great back then. I'm going to spice things up. There's a car in the parking lot. 3,000 kilometers. To anyone who can beat me, it's yours. Whoa! Someone here a moment ago said he can break my wrist. Who was it? Jason, is it? Where is he? Jason! 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 Don't you want to rest first? It's not going to be fair for you. You can't beat me even if we play the whole day. Yeah, of course. While we're all working, there you are. Working out at the gym. It's not fair. Didn't you hit the gym a lot when you were in the UK? Let's go! <laughs> Sit down! Sit! <laughs> right. Not yet. Can I get a knife, please? Ooh. What are you doing? Can we just skip the bloodshed? I learned this trick from the Russians. Much more exciting. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I am. Three, two, one. Let's go.
lost Come me. On. Come, let's drink. Hey. What are you saying? That I'm weak? It's just a game, right? Well, it's a serious game. Do you see this? Oh. Now, it's a rematch. Him. We're doing it again. Sit down! You won this one. Are you happy? The bus is departing. Please hold on to the handrails. Newly boarded passengers must move inward. Passengers without a card must pay with coins. The next station is Tenement West. You haven't heard the sounds of the city for a while. You asked for a recording. But I don't really know what to say to you. The city? Everyone leads a life of repeating patterns. People's days are on an endless loop. We can't escape the city's patterns. You know I've deleted the first few recordings. They all sounded so trivial and so boring. But if you ask me if I'll leave, like you did, if I'd go some unknown destination, I guess most people would be afraid. I read your Swiss tourist brochure. I think only people who can't go read those brochures. Because if I were to go, I'd rather go without knowing about it. Then everything will look brand new to me. Isn't that much better? I feel silly talking to a phone without anyone responding. <laughs> this place is where people from all walks go on a pilgrimage. People come and kowtow all the way to Lhasa. They're using their bodies to measure the distance between their homes and Lhasa. They bring all their life savings with them, exchange it into gold, and grind it down. Then they use the gold dust to cover the statue of a 12-year-old Shakyamuni at the Chokang Temple. It's the most important thing in their lives. If I were to compare our lives with these pilgrims, I find myself asking if we really need the fancy things that we buy, luxury cars, an imposing mansion, or the everyday designer suit and designer bag. The locals said that even their own grandparents crawl on their hands and knees. Should they die on the way, that will be a great happiness to them, because they've won in this life. There's only silence here day by day. From time to time, I think about the combination lock I designed. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was thinking locks, locks, locks. I wanted to keep the things we put value on safe, as if then they really belonged to me. If you really think about it, in our entire lives, how many things can we really call our own? Thank you for flying with us. We hope to see you in your next flight. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for traveling with us. We wish you a very good day. Thank you. Dad. Uncle Dong, you're here too. A younger version of me, right? Much better looking.
Beijing has developed far more than Hong Kong. There are a lot of investment opportunities. Stay a few more days, then I can show you around. I have a board meeting, son. I can't stay here for long. The Hong Kong Consortium is investing in a football team here. The Chinese Football League is profitable. What do I know of football? I invest in what I know. Do we really have to do this, Pa? Huh. Hmm. Come stand with us. Right there. This is for your own good, you know. Oh, Goshen, Goshen. Look, what do you think is going on? Excuse me, may I know where you're going? This is 311, isn't it? It is. Mr. Na Kuo Tung's house? Yes, yes, that's me. Then that's perfect. Mr. Jin sent us over here, sir. Will one of you show us to the kitchen, please? Oh. Um. Uh, uh, take them to the kitchen, will you? Ah, oh, yes, yes. Come here, please, come with me. Oh. The kitchen's this way, oh, come yes. with me. Careful with the stairs now, okay? Of course. To the right, it's to the right. Hey, don't get upset. I did tell them we were just going to have a simple meal. Who knew Tin Tin Bung would send the whole restaurant staff in her home? It's supposed to be a simple dinner. What is all this fuss about? We are just having dinner. Mm. Let's go in. Mm. I have a crazy idea. I'm going to ride through Death Valley on my own. I want to challenge myself. Wish me luck. Mr. Tin, these people, all for a simple meal? <sighs> Had I known it would be so much trouble, I'd have invited you to eat out. Don't think about it too much, okay? Every time I make a phone call, uh, I uh, would ask him, How was it with you two? Huh? Did you upset her again? Ah, oh, she's way out of your league. If you made her upset, I'd have come all the way from Hong Kong to solve it. <laughs> Am I right? Huh? Oh, uh... Nalan? I'd like to apologize to you. It's all my fault. I hope you can forgive me. <laughs> hey. It's all right. It's all right. Come on. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Uncle. Okay. The reason I came here is to bring some gifts to Nalan. Now, what do I get her? Considering your position, you're a state official. If I do send in gifts, it'll look bad for you. Thank you. Thank you for being so considerate. But still, I can't come with nothing. That's disrespectful. And people might say, it's your first time there, yet you brought no gifts, right? I can't afford to be rude. <laughs> so that's why I have decided to give some company shares. Three million shares in all. For the law firm, once they get married, that three million will be under her name. That will be Nalan's private property. <laughs> it's not a big deal. No, no, no. That's out of the question. No, I'm not even finished yet. The three million is not just for her. Hmm? These two are going to get married. And one day, they will have a child, right? Uh, giving those shares is like giving a red envelope to their child. Am I right? No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> Mr. Tsin, 
Uh, that's their business. We should be staying out of it. Ah, yes, that's right. I think right. that they're both adults, and they can deal with their issues in private, right? Of course, right? of course. <laughs> what do you think, Nalan? How generous of your dad. Three million shares, just like that. It's worth over one billion. Oh, by the way, my dad flew from Hong Kong just for you. He heard that we were having some issues. He was supposed to buy a UK power plant. But what did he do? He canceled this UK trip. He's skipping the board meeting. Instead, he's right there. Come on, don't make me look bad. You're putting me on the spot. What do you mean by that? Why should I even bother? Are you kidding me? You've already made a big scene. What else do you want? We're not talking about absolving me from murder, okay? Excuse me? So now you're saying I'm wrong? I'm making a scene? I won't stand for that kind of attitude. Do you think I care what you think? Well, young man, you're safe now.
<laughs> what are you trying to say? I can't stand it when people try to prolong my suffering. Why don't you just pull the trigger? You're making this hard on both of us with you acting like this. Look, I'm begging over here. Let's get to the point. What can I do to make you forgive me? Stay away from me. Tell your dad to do the same. Mr. Tsin, what you said was right. Mm. I hold public office, which means your three million shares must never be under my name. <laughs> Look, we're here. This is where I live. Have a drink. That is lake water. It's very pure. <sighs> Uncle Doaputsi, how long have you lived here? Sixteen years now. So this is really where you live? I wouldn't say as much. This is where I sit. Sixteen years inside this tub. The first time I sat here, I made an oath. I wouldn't step out until I am enlightened. It is a tub. Hmm. Hey, does that mean that you broke your oath for me? If I refuse to help someone in distress, what's the point of enlightenment? In this life, my oath is no more. Maybe in the next. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. You broke it because of me. <laughs> hey, uncle. That valley is full of wolves. Aren't you afraid they'll attack you? They won't attack. The wolves here are warriors of the Mountain God. In all the years that I've been here, thanks to the Mountain God and Buddha, I am well cared for. The wolves don't come to bother me. What was that you were chanting earlier? Red man, red horse, red serpent king? That's what's called a Buddhist mantra. When I sang, the mountain gods heard me, and Buddha heard it too. It's more psychological. How can both gods hear it? It's not 911. Well, wherever you may be, the Buddha will always hear you chant. Whenever you chant, that's when he hears you. If you fear something, or you want something, the Buddha and Bodhisattva will do their best to come and help you. I understand it now. Mantras are the phone numbers we use to call Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been? How long has it been? We still only have email. Only emails. Who can tell me how long we can survive this? Huh? I'm talking to you. Hey, say something. Say something, I'm asking you guys a question. How long can we survive offering only emails? 
We're in an industry where replication is only a matter of time. Our idea can easily be stolen. They can easily make it their own. Soon there'll be all sorts of mail. Dog mail, wolf mail, cat mail, horse mail, all sorts of emails. I used to work for a multinational company. I know what kind of technical capacities an established company has, and if they take on our ideas, then what? We will be like foxes disappearing in the mist. Xiaomang, don't you lead the cheer. <laughs> We'd be lucky if we can survive like this for a year. You've come here from far away, riding only on your bicycle. You have luck on your side. Your adventures are abundant. <laughs> <sighs> this is the true splendor of Shamba. But it's not only your good luck. You've also been blessed by Buddha. Our earthbound body is merely a vessel for pain. Now I've been blessed with the good luck to help someone. That is the origin of good luck. Thank you. I'll remember that. <laughs> Let's go. Around 10 miles further from here, you will find a military facility. They will have water, vehicles, whatever you need. Be sure. Thank you for saving my life. Please, you must take it. Whatever I need, the mountain god provides. Money has no value to me. The next time I come to Tibet, can I come here and visit you? I'll spend my life praying by Ramla Lake over there. I will be there until my end of days. My prayers will contain you. I'll ask Buddha to protect you. Go ahead. faster. Think about what really matters to the user so we can expand our base even further. Needs like sunlight, air, and water. Like food. Like what's inside your lunchbox. Why do you always order the same food from that place? Answer me. Answer. Answer! Because it tastes good? If it's because it tastes good, how will people know this place is good? How do people know where to eat? By word of mouth, right? But what if they have Foxmail? What if Foxmail had this feature? Maybe Foxmail could teach them which restaurants have good food, which have nice ambiance, or whatever. What if Foxmail can... book a flight, buy a train ticket, 
call a taxi. Or send weather forecasts, track our locations, and maybe make an appointment at a hospital. Or a gaming platform. Maybe we can allow people from all over the world playing the same online games to communicate with each other. All with Foxmail. Hey, I want Foxmail to be the catch-all for all these services. Uh, don't be afraid of complexities. We aren't afraid of complexities. But this should be a platform, not just an email server. We're leveraging emails to connect all of these things. Mr. Luo, those things are the functions of a large integrated website. We're just a simple app. It's impossible. Xiaomang? I really like the words Xiaomang uttered earlier. It's impossible. The word impossible is what drives human evolution and invention. A long time ago, monkeys had no food, and so they thought, steal the tiger's food. But they can't fight a tiger. It's impossible. So then what? It took one monkey to notice that there were a lot of sticks lying around, so this monkey thought he would pick them up. And he won. It learned how to use tools just like our human ancestors before. A human wanted to send steel weighing dozens of tons up to the sky and to outer space. But people said, hey, no, that's impossible. Then somebody invented the airplane. They just did it. Somebody wanted to bring down lightning from the sky to light up the dark night. Impossible? Ben Franklin said otherwise. So then, they all went down in history. The Xiaomang. The mission of Foxmail is to make what we think is impossible turn into a possibility. Oh, 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 oh,